everyone, Chris Ball, live from my pre-PDAC Mexico vacation, here to bring you an important update on our news that just came out today. So the phase one drill results are now out, and some of the grades that we have intersected are absolutely remarkable. Our first hole intersected 38 meters of 487 grams per ton silver equivalent now, to put that in perspective, in terms of grade temps width, that amounts to over 18,500 gram meters and ranks it one of the better silver intercepts that we've seen this year. Obviously, this has been a major de-risking for the project moving forward. Now, for some of you who may not be familiar with the Hercules and as a little refresher on the history, Hercules has had around 308 historical holes drilled between 1965 and 1984. A large number of those holes returned very exceptional results, but they culminated around the time of a massive crash in the silver market that happened in the early 1980s, thanks in part to the Hunt brothers. That sent silver into a long-term bear market, and as a result, the project hasn't been explored since the 1980s. So obviously the most important thing for us to do was to get in and verify those historical drilling results. Now the release that came out today was from our first phase of drilling and came back very much in line with those historical grades. In fact, we had just used a small low cost scout drill for the phase one program and four of the holes even ended up bottoming in mineralization. So we've certainly confirmed that there's a wide zone of high grade silver, it's open in multiple directions, and we get to continue to step out on that in our upcoming phase two program. We also spent a good part of the last year and a half doing a significant amount of modern systematic exploration on our over 4,000 acre land package of prospective ground, and these results are all pointing towards a much larger system at play here. It appears to be centered on a potential porphyry copper feeder target that we think might actually be associated with that large IP anomaly that we released earlier this year. And we're now seeing both copper and gold in the porphyry target, which is consistent with a zone system where you have copper gold in the center surrounded by a large halo of silver lead zinc. So we're dealing with a large scale system. It's around three and a half kilometers by three and a half kilometers on surface and continues to extend under post-mineral cover. So it's now looking like that historical drilling really did just scratch the surface. So we're obviously pretty excited for this next phase of drilling where we're gonna be not only expanding on these zones that we've just released, but we're also gonna be testing a whole multitude of new targets as well. So this is one that you will definitely want to stay tuned for.